Joseph Kawa owns a butcher shop on West Seven Mile in Detroit. It's the last meat market in the neighborhood. I'm the only one here now. And soon it may be gone, run out by crime. Because of the theft, I've tried to close business. They, they did it two times to me in one month. Thieves have stolen three compressors, and that means Joseph loses all the meat in his coolers. $20,000 damage. Even worse for business, crime has forced many of his customers to leave the neighborhood. My business went down by like about almost 30%. Detroit crime stats show that property crimes are indeed increasing. We have um, our breakings and enterings. Uh, th those are problematic. Violent crime in the city is down, but fear of violence isn't. There's a tendency to believe that it's against random individuals and people who may visit the city. And that's not the case with a lot of the violent crime that we have. It's some type of relationship. But when you look at the faces of murder victims, both from Detroit and the suburbs. You realize no matter what the nature of the crime, there's too much. I see a, an increase in the callousness, increase in the indifference in terms of people and taking another person's life. A recent WXYZ TV Detroit Free Press poll shows that crime is the issue that concerns Detroit residents most, with 43% listing it as the number one problem. Somebody sees a crime that's been committed, Rather than pull the shades and, and, and ignore it, it needs to be reported. There, there, there has to be a level of community involvement. One of the safest ways to get involved is through Crime Stoppers, where information can be turned in anonymously. Last year, we had a 44% increase in tips. Crime Stoppers president John Broad says he thinks people have finally had enough. Things sometimes have to get so bad that people, even if they're not quite sure that it's anonymous, are willing even to take that risk to be able to do something about crime. Warren Mayor Jim Fout says things are improving in his city. Crime is down by 11 percent. Unlike many cities, Warren's been able to beef up its police department. We're hiring. Last fall we hired 22 new police officers. But heroin is still a problem. Three men have died from heroin overdoses so far this year. I received a number of calls from residents complaining to me about the fact that their relative, their son, their daughter, their husband was involved in heroin. So Warren had the officers wage a neighborhood war on heroin that has led to 30 arrests. Paul Stocky has lived in Warren most of his life. More, you know, police, hopefully that's a solution, but I don't know that the police can prevent the crime from occurring. The people who work with crime every day say we can all do something about it. If we unify and act, crime will go down. That's the only way we're ever going to become really safe. We as the community have to take back our streets.